everyone, welcome to the channel. I am doing a mini series on um, how the court cards correspond with astrology. Um, part of the reason I'm doing this is because I made my own tarot deck um, and I'm trying to launch it on Kickstarter again. I wanna get the project back, so I'm gonna show pictures of that to help promote it, but I'm also gonna be showing pictures of other tarot cards as well, so that way you guys can um, see the different designs and kind of get inspiration from them because when you read tarot cards everything should be intuitive and you should be able to pick up different um, key elements from the artwork when you're reading the cards and get messages that way as well one thing i do want to say about court cards when you're reading with your when you're reading tarot cards is that the court cards usually symbolize either a person play like not a person in place but a person or a situation that you might be dealing with or trying to resolve or something like that. So when you are doing them in your spread, keep in mind that the court cards have to do with either people or situations in your life or whatever you're asking about. Um, the first card we're gonna go over today is the Page of Pentacles. And I have some notes down here, so if I'm looking down here, just don't mind me. Uh, I'm gonna try to put the pictures up as well so it's not as distracting. But the Page of Pentacles, when we're talking about astrology, is associated with all earth signs. That means Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. So when you're reading this card, I kind of want you to have in your mind, if you're familiar with astrology, what do those signs mean? They usually have to do with money, material um, world, usually a very stable energy um, as well. The, with this card in particular, there are no specific date windows or times. Um, that are associated with this card. So some of the, the tarot cards do have that if you're not familiar with it. Um, common colors that you'll see on the cards are purples, greens, um, and kind of gold and gray. I am also going to talk about the keywords first. So the keywords for this card that I have written down are new financial opportunities, grounded, growth, and this also could mean good news or a message. So when you think of this card, you see the Page of Pentacles kind of extending his arms out there and he has the um, pentacle that he's offering to somebody or you can think of that as a message he's delivering to somebody. Um, also, I keep saying he, but I think with the court cards, the pages are also usually a feminine energy. Everyone has masculine and feminine energy. Doesn't necessarily have to be one or the other though. When you're reading the cards, it could, like I said, apply to situations or... Um, what have you. Also with the pages, it's usually a younger person or a younger energy. That is another way you can read the card as well um, if you're wanting to know somebody's age. Uh, let's see. Now the reversals. I am big into reversals when reading. Um, in my tarot card book that I made for the, the Astro Kitties tarot card deck, I incorporate the reversals of all the tarot cards because I think it's important and it gives your readings an extra elevated sense um, when you're reading them, you get more clear communication, more um, information in general General, when you read that way. But for the reversed, I have, it could be bad news, the bearer of bad news, um, a lack of passion, or a missed opportunity are some of my favorite um, keyword examples for the card. Okay, so I'm going to read from uh, this little passage here. It's not from the book itself that I wrote, but it's um, another source that I have that I'll kind of read a little bit of it. Um, the court card spot corresponds to the elements rather than any one sign, planet, body, or decan, or date range, usually represents a person or the quarant themselves. The page of pentacles corresponds to the earth and the earth element according to the order of the golden dawn. Therefore, it has a major focus on material, earthly, physical matters, hence the focus of the pentagram on the figure as it walks amongst the natural world. This speaks to building interest and cre of creation of and abundance in the initial blossoming of ideas. So that's kind of what we already talked about a little bit as well. So you kind of understand how this is playing into your tarot cards. In a love reading, the page of pentacles can suggest a new love and it could it has a quiet, grounded, but loyal demeanor to it. It has an earthly energy that might not set the world alight, but will be hardworking and very focused. For those already in a relationship, the Page of Pentacles can represent a very loyal and supportive partner. Okay, I want to read from another source that I have. 
So in relationships, they erect barriers which few people can penetrate. They can't seem to meet anyone halfway, and even when someone tries, the result is soulness and suspicion. Their appreciation of people's interests and motives is so limited that they develop unrealistic expectations and views of their own self-worth. This is a narrow arrogance, and it makes it difficult them, for them to value others and their partners. Um, never quite squeeze through the acceptability screen to become cherished and admired friends. At best, they are loyal with limited partners. At worst, they are stoic, grudging, and antisocial who find it a little... Uh, find little to recommend to the human race. So that that's kind of a, a little bit of a comical sense when you're thinking about love relationships. It's one way to read it. Um, these people can be kind of stingy with their love um, or immature in some aspects because it is a page. So I hope that helps you guys kind of understand how to read that in a love relationship as well. Now for going into a career um, sort of question or if you have a question about, you know, your money situation. Um, we're going to look at the Page of Pentacles in that situation. The Page of Pentacles can appear in a career and wealth reading. It can mean a new career path or a um, course of higher study and will lead to some sort of career advancement. It can also mean that someone in the Aquarius life is offering them a new opportunity. So like I was saying before, this could be a message or a new opportunity. Um, you might have a friend that tells you, hey, I have a job opening. Um, why don't you go fill it out? It might be something sort of short like that um, because, you know, pages are just the start of this sort of um, experience when you look at the court cards. So it's usually a smaller thing. It's not something like, you know, a, a big opportunity. Like you didn't get the job offer yet, but somebody might be giving you a job lead. Um, I like to think of it sort of that way. Um so basically, what we've learned about the court cards is that, or about the Page of Pentacles and specifically, is that it's usually a new opportunity, a new offer, and it is associated with Earth energy. Um, like I said before, the reason I'm creating this is to help you guys associate the astrology elements with tarot cards because they do go hand in hand, and I think it makes reading tarot cards much easier. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like this video so that others can see it and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the other videos as they come out. Thank you.